This is Morganarchy, and today I'm unboxing another mystery box of sorts, but this one is different in many, many ways. It is the UK-based The Toy Box, Nostalgia in a Box. Don't mind that, that's just where my address was that I've taken it off. Anyway, very simple box, but that is nice in a sense. It's very minimalistic, and you know they've spent money elsewhere, i.e. on the contents of the box. Well, this... It does have a monthly subscription service. It also has the ability to buy them one-off. And because it's a UK-based company, relatively new, I believe it's only run by one guy at the moment, he's very... he caters to his customers' demands, basically. You can email him and ask for specific things. The boxes are from... this one is made up of nostalgic toys and childhood delights from the 1990s. They also have one from the 1980s, and they have a 1990s one specifically for girls' toys, things like My Little Pony, that sort of thing. I emailed him asking about a 90s box, and I listed a few things that I had as a kid. Being a tomboy, I had a mix of girls' toys and boys' toys, and... I wanted to make sure there was something in the box I did recognise. Watching other people's unboxings, they had things like street sharks and other boys' toys that I was never allowed. So I said I was into Pokemon, Pogs, I mentioned Action Man, I collected um, Kitty in my pocket, there's a few of them in there, that'll be nice. And I mentioned I was really into The Simpsons, and still am to this day. So, this is, in a sense, is catered to me. Catered to me. This is a Mog Anarchy 1990s toy box. So let's see how well they have done. Ooh, I spy a PS2 game. Ah, yes. They always come with a video game of some description. From what I've seen, the 1980s ones tend to come with Atari 2600 games. Maybe NES games, I don't know. And the 90s ones tend to contain Game Boy games. Maybe SNES games. I have got a PS2 game. I have got The Sims busting out. That in itself is an indication it's from the UK. It is a PAL version and it is from Asda Price. <laughs> that is the really, really old Asda logo. And it cost £19.97 when it was originally out. Oh, the days when games were cheap. Do I have this? I do have some Sims games on the PS2, but I'm not sure if I have this one. No, I don't think I do have this one. That's nice, with a net player that probably will not work now because it is 2016. Oh, apologies for that glare there. That blinded me, so I don't know what it did to you. Okay, PS2 game. Very nice. Oh, lots of packing peanuts. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Homer Simpson. He's a world of Springfield toy. It's a world of Springfield toy. Oh my God, I need to go get some. Right, world of Springfield. I'm really fucking excited. These were the, the toy, the toy I had growing up. I used to go to the town on the weekends with me nana and buy these figurines with my pocket money because they were quite cheap. They were about six or seven quid. And they've got these little chips in the feet and you used to buy these play sets. These were about 20, 30 quid and they come with a character and accessories and things like that. And you see these little pegs? You stand them on the pegs and press the buttons and they talk. And I don't have this Homer. I've got some other Homers and they all say the same thing because it was like Homer in his normal outfit, Homer in his stonecutter's outfit, Homer in his bowling outfit. I do not have this one. And these are really, really hard to get hold of nowadays. Even out of their boxes, people sell them for like 20 quid. There we go, he's talking. Stupid poetic justice. This is the greatest day of my life. Stupid poetic justice. Basically, yeah. I have got so many of these. If you're interested, I could do a whole bloody gushing feature on them. I have got a massive box of them under my bed. Anyway, I am very pleased with that. Does he have any accessories in the box, I wonder? Because I know he had a funny hat in the episode, didn't he? You stand there. You stand in frame because you're lovely. You stand in the frame and look terrified. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy the nostalgia. I certainly friggin' will with that. Uh... Oh, oh, there is some up. Ah! 
that's the scroll that he um he used as a bib. He used it as a bib and used to clean his ears. See, these little figurines would come in like a blister pack and they'd have hats, glasses, that sort of thing. And Homer would come with donuts, bats, Simpson would come with a slingshot, a skateboard, that sort of thing. And because I was a very careful child, although I did take them out of the boxes to play with them, I kept all of the little accessories in a shoebox. And I still have the shoebox with all the things in it. Aha, there's his hat. I found his hat. It looks a bit... um. Emperor of Saigon, that hat, doesn't it? Oh my god, he's got a hat. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. You stand over there with your scroll, Mr. Simpson. Right, back to the box. Oh, there's some more things. Ah, oh, pugs! I've got some pugs! If there's one thing that epitomies, uh, the very epitome of the 90s, it is pugs. Ah, uh, Batman pogs, I believe. One thing I didn't really watch, but my brother did. I used to play with his pogs. He had a bucket. It was like as big as a KFC bucket. It wasn't a KFC bucket, but it was big as one. And it was full of pogs. I used to just play with them. I didn't really understand the games. I just used to stack them up and make things with them. Uh, Killer Croc. I know of Killer Croc. A uh, very shiny, sparkly Batman that kind of looks like the telly's gone on the fritz behind him. These are being very bad with the Ferguson. Come on, autofocus, what are you supposed to be doing? Batman is mine. What is that? Oh, it's Bane. It's Bane's mask, isn't it? I had to look there and think, what the hell is that supposed to be? That. Uh, Batman on a roof. Camera that will not focus. Uh, the Joker on the phone. Another shiny one. Batman stood in front of some tellies. Uh, Batman on a... A clothesline. These are copyright 1995. Another shiny sparkly Batman. The Joker with the present. And Batman with some woman. Don't know who she is. No idea who she is. Oh, I didn't get a slammer. Wah, no slammer, just pogs. I can't play pogs without a slammer. What could you use instead of a slammer? I suppose you could fill uh, the lid off some milk with some plasticine or something. Now that is a ghetto solution. Okay. Oh, oh, there's something there. Right, we've got a comic. Oh, we've got Pokemon cards. <laughs> Let's get it all out, make sure it's all there. Right, that's everything. Just a load of packing peanuts. Right, we'll open this comic and give a chance to uh, unfold, shall we say, while I look at these Pokemon cards. Now I collect Pokemon cards. I collect the old Pokemon cards from my childhood. Will there be any in here? I don't have in my binder. Geodude, common, fossil. Got it. Meowth, common, jungle. Got it. Guldeen, common, jungle. Got it. Gloom, uncommon, jungle. Got it. Another Meowth. Got you. A Dark Persian from Team Rocket, uncommon. Still have it. Dark Muck from Rocket. I do have this one, but it's in really bad condition. So this one will be going in the binder to replace it because I put the nicest condition ones in the binder. Yes, you are going in the binder. Uh, Team Rocket Oddish. Again, I've got one, but it's in really bad condition, so you can go in the binder. Pokemon Center. Hmm, I don't know if I have the Pokemon Center. I think I do, but it's got some symbol. I think it's a reissue one. And an energy card. Yes, I've got plenty of those. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, and finally, we have straightened it out enough. We have got a Tiny Toon Adventures comic, issue number 13. And it costs 70p. Yeah, I remember when comics used to be really cheap. I personally used to buy the Beano and the Dandy. They were 50p, and then they put them up to 55p, and then, then they got shit. <laughs> Uh, date, please. 1995. Uh, I know those cards were from about 96. The Pogs were from 95. The World of Springfield were about 97, 98. And The Sims Busting Out is definitely about 2000 and something. But, okay. The, it is my childhood years, essentially. I never watched Tiny Toon Adventures, but I know it's basically Looney Tunes as kids. There's some comic strips. 
I need to put this under a heavy book or something to flatten it out. Uh, there's the thing where kids used to send them the drawings. Uh -huh. And some more comics. That's a nice touch. So, as far as I'm aware, if you subscribe to the box, you get one more thing in it per month. Fair enough. You've committed to it. But if you just buy a one-off box, everything in it has a numerical value of points. But you will always get a comic or a book. You will always get an action figure of some description. You will always get a video game. And then you will get some sort of miscellaneous items, such as pogs. And you will get trading cards or stickers. So I've seen people get Pokemon cards. I've seen people get uh, Garbage Pail Kids in the 1980s ones. And, you know, things like that. Or trading cards from tele programs or films, that sort of thing. So I would say it's a relatively good value. It only costs me about £17. Not bad, considering that these friggin' things sell for about 20 quid each on eBay. Not bad at all. As I said, they are UK-based, but as far as I'm aware, they do ship worldwide. They do ship to America and further afield, of course. So if you're interested in a toy box, remember, 1990s or 1980s, and they can be catered, as you see, I will put a link in the description. I am going to go play with my Homer.